have a marginal progress since my last build a few weeks already passed but I'm still waiting for a certain part that I'd like to use on my system uh, this is mostly for the black fittings that I'd like to use throughout the entire setup right now I have a mix and match of silver and black nickel uh, fittings that um, you might don't see it very well on this um, video but uh, in the person it's a little bit uh, all over the place so to speak so I would like to unify it and make it all black and uh, with only those green accents that I'm leaving so anyway so while I'm waiting I decide to assemble system with all fittings I have on hand and just uh, do leak test and see if there are any major problems with the entire setup and so I might uh, to redesign if it's necessary so come looking back in my previous video I didn't change anything with CPU area uh, I had finished up connections with uh, going from a chipset block to the radiator as you see I put black not UV reactive tube and I routed it behind the case uh, it's no problem I keep uh, tubing for a while um, with assembled case with a, with a panel and nothing bends so it, it will work for me and it's not reactive so when the case is closed you can't see the tube that's what exactly I want and on the bottom I did the same thing I used another piece of black tube going to the my um, reservoir which is uh, again this part of the tube wouldn't be visible when case will be closed and also black connection between reservoir and dual top pump and the same thing which you can't see anyways because it's inside of the cage area this connection between the radiator and um, and the top uh, the only trick was here that I have to use 245 degree rotaries to align um, inlets outlets uh, nicely otherwise it's, it was an awkward uh, angle and tube um, was look like it's going to bend but so I, I saw it like this and uh, the last thing I mentioned here and uh, this um, is the lowest point of my build so I put another fitting there and put a piece of tube that goes outside of the case with um, a fill port attached so when I need to do maintenance I will just uh, un unscrew this port and let water drain without too much trouble so it will be easier for maintenance and I don't need to bend and uh, uh, rock my case and all this uh, trouble that I had with my previous build and fill port to fill the system the highest point of uh, my reservoir goes outside as well with black tube so um, I will fill here drain there and that should be pretty easy so I will do actual leak test and we'll see if all my series will actually work on practice which not always happen and I will keep you guys posted. The leak test goes, I showed it several times uh, I'm connecting this funnel that I made myself to my fill port this goes directly to reservoir I fill the reservoir uh, full and um, I use external power supply to power up the pump so I turn pump on make water go through the system so it push air out, fill the reservoir again and continue until the entire system will be full. So as simple as that. And uh, while doing this I observe if there is any leaking. The only difference that I do this time actually um, I decided to use this uh, highly adhesive, uh, not adhesive, um, absorption, um, the pod that's supposed to absorb as much as 400 milliliter of water if it uh, get dropped and you see I test it a little bit so um, it's retained water inside so it, it doesn't go through it's pretty nice so you can uh, use such things uh, instead of uh, usual bounty uh, which is uh, not as great uh, comparing with this one so we'll see how it goes uh, I don't observe any leaks now so we'll continue uh, filling the system up and we'll see uh, if everything works fine. Well. It took me four or five refills to completely fill the system. So you see there's some bubble still going on because I just uh, powered this up. 
So what your procedure is now is um, you're looking all your connections and you look for immediate leaks if you have a major mistake. Uh, if nothing bad happening, it's also a good idea to cover your video cards with uh, absorption uh, material, bounty or whatever you want to use or those uh, high efficiency pods. And, um, and if nothing wrong, you let it run for a while and see if anything develops after. So, you know, usual stuff. That's only for those who are going to build the first builds. Everybody else knows what it takes. You just look uh, and see. And uh, pray that nothing happens. And if you do everything right, everything is okay.